Hey everybody, because race car back, uh, back here, and uh, welcome to the channel. You'll notice there's been a few things uh, that have happened lately, and I really apologize for the the long breaks in between episodes. If you haven't noticed already, I'm using my brand new uh, Blue Yeti microphone, so some some better production uh, quality things coming coming to the channel. It's always nice. And, um, I have been streaming on Twitch, um, quite a bit. So don't worry, Penn Island's not going anywhere. Alright, so we're in the park now, and, uh, as you can see, we have a brand new parking lot and this lovely toll booth, um, that I've built. I still have another building I need to build here, but you have your separate bus lane... And then six lanes for other traffic to come in. The rest of the lines will still be added in later. And this is pretty much modeled off of Carowind's parking lot. So, bus parking over here. Blues for handicap. Yellows for the, uh... Yellows for your premium parking. And yellow, er, and white for uh, everybody else. So... And judging from this view, I see a couple things. The skyline changes oh so much all the time. So, so everything that was missing in the previous episode has been replaced. It's back in, it's back to normal. No, no wonkiness. The restaurant is place where it should be. Um, let's see, you got Ligma Wieners, Route 69, because race cars, tune-ups, and repairs, all that's back. So, first thing we'll start off with is Neverland Ranch. Um, I completely redid the, uh, completely redid the Junior Coaster. And it's, it's a little bit more open. It's got some path interaction. It's kind of cool. Um, and I started custom supporting it. And it's trying to do custom supports with art shapes. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So, And instead of the medieval theme, you'll notice the, what the heck's going on with my camera here. Um, we did go with the Chinese uh, theme from the World's Fair. And then our Cheshire Cats ride uh, is starting to get some theming as, in as well. Uh, the co uh, the station building is complete, and this was modeled after. Um, this was modeled after the actual train station at uh, the real Neverland Ranch. I thought it was an interesting building. I was like, that looks very theme parky. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it in, and I I like the way it came out. So. And that's really about it. Added some little clutter and stuff to this, but it's not done yet. And then if we come down this way, um, the dive coaster now has a net for the uh, for the third inversion or second, whichever one. Yeah, second inversion. Um, Added some few little bits and bobs here. We got a TFBB over in this co in this part of the park, and we recolored the uh, we recolored the flat ride over here, and we gave it the name Twisted Transistor. So, still need to make a sign for Alaskan popsicles, um, and then we made this nice little seating area. I'll add some umbrellas um, at some point. Um, and then one of the things that um, that Emacs Magnus left me was, hey, figure out a way to get from this level to up there. And I'm like, okay. So I made these nice little stairs and a ramp for some wheelchair access. And I got started with a couple planners. I need to, I should have tidied those up before starting this episode. But and then I did a couple tweaks uh, to his train station. I finished this roof cover here. And 
I don't know what the heck that, like, siren noise is in the game. I need to figure out where it's coming from, because that's annoying as crap. And then eventually, this will continue on around here, and I started getting an idea of what I want to do for this side of the park. And so we have this, uh, this car ride. Uh, that I've kind of built and gave it some, the uh, some scenery to. More in the, uh, more work on that to come later. And then I kind of plop down one of these just, just for, just for laughs. But we're going to call it, uh, sort of a roller coaster. Because it's sort of a roller coaster. Versus a Larson Looper, which Six Flags claims to be a roller coaster, and it's totally not. It's not even close to being a roller coaster. Um, and then, oh yes, I started working on another plaza with uh, a big wheel right here. It's just gonna be something small. Probably have like some pa uh, some shops and stuff like along here. Maybe give it like a little bit of a western feel. I don't know just yet. Um, just kind of throwing out ideas and getting stuff to to come to fruition. But um, the idea is this path and this path are going to join somewhere up in here. And then we'll have a couple rides back here. And th that you'll that's uh, to be announced later. And then lastly... On, uh, on our list of stuff we've done. I made a pen and power tower and recolored daddy issues to be something a little more Barbie. You know, hot pink and some lavender. But, and then gave it all a nice, gave it all a nice plaza that still has to be filled in with stuff. <laughs> And, um, let's see, I've got two of the towers are doing, like, the, uh, the space shot, and then two of them are doing, like, the, the turbo drop, just like the real power tower at Cedar Point. Um, and eventually, at some point, I'm gonna do a custom lighting package for this thing, too. And it's all gonna be really cool looking. And, of course, our original train station that we had over at the other end of the park, I placed it down over here. And gave it a home. So a lot, a lot has actually happened in in the last month and a half. I just wish I had more polished stuff to uh, to present to you. Um, oh, how did I almost forget this? The uh, the Giga Coaster. It's not it's not complete yet. It, runs off right here but the layout's almost done um but it's got some it's got some really nice vibes of leviathan and fury 325 you know air and then just in the second half is just absolute airtime madness so or uh not airtime but um you know twisty turny type of uh so But that's really all that I have to show as far as what's new in in the old Penn Island. Um, appreciate you guys sticking around and and uh, waiting this out uh, with me. So catch me on Twitch. I'll uh, I'll put my Twitch handle down below in the com or in the uh, in the description below. So that way, if you're not following me on Twitch. And you'd like to see more Penn Island uh, in between episodes, that would be the place to go. But uh, that's going to do it for us right here. So thank you guys uh, so much for tuning in. Uh, I do apologize once more for the. Uh, for the long delays in between episodes, but real life does get in the way. So thanks for bearing with me and uh, we'll see you in the next one and hopefully see you guys on Twitch and 
you know, we'll have some, some fun doing, doing some live streaming. So you guys have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.